Let's take a look at the top 10 list from the 2020 Freddies. At number 10, volleyball junior Emma Falk. Emma had off-season surgery. She had a ligament from a cadaver placed in her right shoulder. After eight months of rehab and missing the first month of the season, Emma was back to form playing her best volleyball by the end of the year. She had a hitting percentage of 319. Emma is one of the first athletes to return to competition after that specific surgery. At number 9, baseball sophomore Tyler Murphy. Tyler was used sparingly as a freshman. Then to start 2020 in the season opener, he hits a two-run home run. In the second game of the day, he blasts a pinch hit grand slam. He finished four for six in the twin bill. At number 8, ice hockey senior Charlie Manley skating down the center of the ice. Jumps into the play, takes the pass, and then a backhander around the Cortland goaltender tying the contest at 1-1. One to one. On this night, Charlie became only the second Blue Devil defenseman in program history to record a hat trick. The first was Mark Jarmus in 1992. That's goal number two for Charlie Manley, giving the Blue Devils a 2-1 to one lead. Then, at the opposite end of the ice with the Blue Devils, looking for some insurance, Manley will take the pass, wrist at home. Fredonia State went on to defeat Cortland in this one, 3-2. to two. At number seven, women's soccer, Blue Devils trailing Plattsburgh in the final seconds, down 3-2. to two. Freshman Gabby Alston creates the turnover and then a one-timer left footer. Melanie Minotti, the senior, ties the contest at 3-3. Three three. That ended up being the final score. The Blue Devils had trailed 3-1 with 10 minutes to go in this game when Lauren Cullen scored the second goal, setting the stage for Minotti's equalizer. Now, women's basketball, number six, left-handed layup from Katie Pitcher. And now here's a three-pointer at Potsdam from Audrey Crafty. Both women had career highs of 27 points in this game. There's another tray from Crafty. And then Pitcher with this jumper, Fredonia State defeated Potsdam in overtime, 94 to 87. At number five, swimming and diving on the men's side, junior Drew Page set a school record in the 400 individual medley at the SUNYAC Championships. He broke the former record set by Andrew Case in 2014. On the women's side, Michaela Paloi broke her own school records in the 500, 1,000, and 1,650 freestyle events. She did this at the SUNYAC Championships. Moving into men's soccer, last game of the regular season. At number four, Jackson Retzer misses his first attempt, but then buries this one. The junior lifts the Blue Devils to a two to one overtime win over Cortland on the last date of the regular season. Cole Thielen uh, right here assisting the game winner. Retzer finishing the play. The Blue Devils needed to win and get some help elsewhere to qualify for the SUNYAC tournament. Unfortunately for Fredonia State, it did not get the help it needed, and the season ended with this overtime victory. The previous day, Fredonia State needed to win to keep its postseason hopes alive. There's a nice pass down the right side by Dominic Monti, and this is Thielen again with another assist on a game winner. This game winner scored by senior Matt Ballardi. Fredonia State kept its hopes alive with this one, a 1-0 victory over Oswego, keeping the Blue Devils in the playoff hunt and then having Retzer's game winner the very next day. Unfortunately, things did not work out elsewhere in the conference to send Fredonia to the playoffs. At number two, senior goaltender Anton Rosen had 33 saves. Two months to the day after he suffered an upper body injury, he made his return to the lineup and recorded only his second collegiate shutout in a 5 to nothing win over Plattsburgh. He finished with the second highest save percentage in program history at 916. And now, moving on to number one on our top 10 list. Blue Devils Director of Athletics Jerry Fisk here, coming to you with the number one moment for the Freddies in 2020. The top moment for this year 
is the resilience and toughness shown by our teams, especially our spring teams who had their seasons canceled at the last minute. COVID can send us apart, it can cancel our seasons, but it can't defeat us. Know how proud your coaches and administrators are of the work that you've done and continue to do. We can't wait to have you back on campus and root for you in person. Go Blue Devils.